I'm also very excited now because I am getting ready to go to see the truck I'm doing in the bird nest. So finally I got a ticket. I tell you what, I mean this ticket is so rare. I mean everyone cannot get any, any more tickets anymore. And I'm so lucky that because of my teacher's relationship, they're called Quan Shi now. And it's not only just Quan Shi, it's all about love actually. That they know I'm here and they all look for me and they all help me and this ticket is such a, like a gold dust, you know. And the uh, fortunate one that is, this ticket is going to see Liu Xiang, the 110 hurdler. The last year he won in Athens and everyone wants to watch him. So I've got a ticket for that. It's on the 18th of uh, August. So I will try to get there early to see that. So and, um, talking about relationship Guanxi, I feel very, very lucky that I'm here with all my teachers and they're all looking for tickets for me and all looking after me really well. That's what I so call the, the, the friends or the people. I'm living with the Beijing people. They're all so lovely. So which is, um, I'm very fortunate to be to be here and doing everything. And also my time job now is just to watch the game. So after gymnastics and because gymnastics is really tomorrow or the next few days, the gymnastics will have uh, more gold medal will be Chang Fei, have a look on Chang Fei and also Yang Wei will try to get their individual event. So that would be something that people should look up look at. And for the next few days people should focus on more on the track and field. So there will be a lot of record being, being broken again and the world record will be new again, renewed again. And um, and also yesterday is still quite emotional because yesterday I think China got four gold medal, which is something which is not easy to get. It's like the butterfly swimming for the girls, which is also one of the um, that one one of the events that is surprisingly good to make the Chinese win. And also I watched the uh, archery, which is also usually it was from the uh, Korean team these medals but this time it just won also and watch them win and win. same thing every time I hear I see the Chinese people won my people can't stop this is something that uh, I feel I'm so glad I'm here to feel that atmosphere and then walk out of the street walk out to the school get this sports school everyone is talking about this and we're analyzing and who is good who is no good who, who is from who's, who's the swimmer that got 12 gold medals who is that no, no, two, two medals, not, not twelve. Oh, twelve, twelve medals. Yeah, the. Oh, <coughs> you mean the American? The American. Yeah, the American. Philip. Philip, yeah. He won six. Oh, yeah, he's very. Oh, he's amazing. No one can beat him. Yeah, amazing. Six and um, and also, yeah, six medals so far. I think his 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 uh, goal is for eight gold medals for one person to get eight gold medal. Medals. Which is, I think it's going to put new weapons. So it's a lot of amazing things happening. Here, of course, I am more of a concern with the Chinese team. And of course, we're quite good to the other country people. So, I mean, um, yeah, swimming is really good. And then look at the track and field. Also, it's going to be very good. The American gold medal will be climbing to the ladder very soon. To catch up with the Chinese gold medal. So that's for sure. Cool. Very, very cool. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, so that, that, that's quite good to talk. And uh, well, also, I tell you, still, still, event you should look at is the, a, a woman tennis. Yesterday, the Chinese girl just beat Venice Williams, which is fantastic. Hey. And then she get in the semifinal. So the tennis game was wonderful, also. Um, so it's a lot of events that the Chinese supposed to be weak, but amazingly, they just climb up to the ladder and go on, go on to the top level, because it's really, really something they prepare for this Olympics. And also, they, the Chinese people, they decided to determine, make the goal they made. I think that is something that, as I said, we really need to admire the Chinese people, how they prepare and then how they get themselves ready and how they determine they are 
and then how they achieve it. And also you can see how the spirit of them, everyone is very uh, humble, and everyone is so fair, play with the sportsmanship. Um, this is something we can see in our, our country, I mean Chinese fifth uh, country is, is really connecting with the, with the world.